Hi Pre-K, today we're going to be reading I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. And because you guys are going to kindergarten very soon, you guys are going to start learning how to read. So, I'm going to read this one to you. I thought it'd be a fun book. I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read and pick a color too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. I can read them with my eyes shut. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah, too. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat. It makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. So it hurts his, his eyes, his eyebrows and his hat to read with his eyes shut. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees. And knees on trees and bees on threes. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles in crocodile pants. Do crocodiles wear pants? No. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. All of them have an owl on their nose. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff you'll learn about. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about chum bones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Fufu the snoo. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale. 10 cents a pail. Can you show me 10 fingers? 10. Good job, guys. You can learn about sad. You can learn about glad. And mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars or how to make donuts or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hot soup if you keep your eyes open but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, at least on one side. The end. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and a great summer and I hope to see you guys again sometime and see how you're doing later on in kindergarten. I love you. Bye.